Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello again. We're going to be talking about another Star Wars movie, arguably the best one. Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Or as we now call it, Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back. So, it's still young time for me, 1980, nine years old, 10 years old. The toys are big. It's still a, a wondrous time in my life, and The Empire Strikes Back comes out. And I'm already into the books. Uh, well, whatever was out there at the time, Splinter of the Mind's Eye, maybe. This movie has everything that you want and does it very well. So if you want to go back and nitpick the first movie, the second movie definitely improves upon it. It's pacing, the stakes, the the music, which I didn't mention in the first one, the music, everything just comes together so well, displayed in an amazing way, and it does improve on the first movie although looking back and you know you, you talk about great moments obi-wan sacrificing himself in front of luke the death star um han solo's uh, return this movie kind of ups the ups the ante does it impressively and leaves you at the time shocked and I remember, you know, you, you know, I try to remember the age I'm at. I'm just enamored with it. And I discussed in my first one, like the difference in my love for Star Trek and Star Wars, where Star Trek is the potential future for us as a society and as a culture, and and it has its uh, sci-fi elements. But Star Wars is the fantasy. It's the wondrous hero's journey. It's just magic and. This movie doesn't let up. Looking at the um, aspects of it, you notice the difference is the director. But I had discussed on the first podcast how George Lucas's cuts were not good, according to you know, references in books and interviews and stuff like that. And this one is directed by Irving Kurt Kreshner. Now, I think he came back for help with The Force Awakens. But you can see... Maybe George understanding his place in this franchise and his creation. And it just is done almost flawlessly. I can't even look back and think, oh, uh, how many nitpicks am I going to have about this movie? Uh, there are not many at all. Just hands down, one of my favorites, perhaps debatably the best Star Wars movie from beginning to end, you're caught up in this journey. Great side plots, what do you call them? B, B plots. Everything works. It, it, the overall tone it just brings it to another level. And like I said, which I didn't discuss in the first one, the music. I mean, I talk about Jaws a lot and how the you know the music. Same fucking guy, by the way. John Williams, the music just elevates everything and just makes it that much better. And I guess it's a hard, it's a rare thing in the movie industry where all these things come together, all these moving parts, and they make movie magic. And this is the the high point for Star Wars, in my opinion. Although I, there are other things that I'm a big reader of the um, extended universe, all the novels that came out. I never had concepts in there that I wish they would have used. But this running theme of, you know, Luke, the farm boy, growing up, um, finding his place in the world. And here, the great reveal. Oh, I am your father, Darth Vader. The whole revelation, the shock, the loss. I mean, who really wins in this uh, movie? Luke gets his hand cut off. And refuses to go with Vader. Han Solo's in, in carbonate. 
And there's a little bit of hope at the end that they're going to regroup and just a stunning atmosphere and looking at that childhood wonder, the magic, the bias that's there. I think even if you're a hardline critic and you're going to analyze the movie, go do deep dives like some gr great internet uh, YouTuber creators do. Yeah, I mean, I guess in anything you're going to find uh, flaws in, but not enough to deter even the most, the, the, even the haters. I mean, I think this is the general portion of the population that's going to hate something and for whatever reason or another. I think this movie, there's not much to say to even go against it. But again, it's at that point in my life, it's, I mean, how many X-Wings have I playing with the dolls, the toys, you know, my own blasters and crappy, shitty lightsabers back in the day? Although I have the new ones, the Master Republic, so that I'm new now, but I have a couple of the movie prop handles that are real, you know, heavy and movie props, and I got the ones with the lightsaber blades that have great sound effects, and they got great handles too, but it's, they're both made by the same company. Anyway. The Empire Strikes Back is just a perfect storm. It's a sequel that ups everything, improves on things. Very rare. Very rare. And I think as the f first trilogy, it's one of the best. Because I do love Return of the Jedi. Although it does have more flaws. Not enough that it's going to make it a, a bad movie. Even if uh, someone were to be a real you know, nitpicky critic. Yeah, it's got flaws, but there's epic scenes, and there's all over Star Wars. There are uh, just epic things. They don't make the movie good, but they make them memorable. So here we have Yoda and the training, Luke losing his hands, a revelation. Um, that fight with Vader's epic. The third one. I think when it, when Luke has to take out Vader at the end and the music cue, that's even better. The Duel of the Fates with Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul. Epic in that sense. And I don't agree with the, oh, it's all choreography, looks. I, I let that go, but I can understand the, criti the criticism. This one upped the ante. It had the... Lightsaber fight was really good, um, rather than, you know, nitpicking the two old men when you got Obi-Wan and Darth Vader. This just really showed how to improve on a franchise, to make a sequel, to make it more um, relatable, the characters grow, you see the bonds forming even the droids i mean everything worked and was improved upon and you can't talk about this enough but in this day and age with all these movies and sequels and especially the star wars episode seven eight nine turning into a fucking disaster of epic proportions uh, i discussed this but i sort of give the force awakens a pass and then the last jedi is the fucking worst and Rise of Skywalker could basically go fuck itself. Anyway, The Empire Strikes Back is definitely going to be the high point for most people, fans, who love and hate it. I think that's um, agreeable. Uh, this chemistry, the acting, the, the thought to bring in Force Ghosts also was like, oh, we, we want to use Alec Guinness and... Um, he's died. We, you know, what do we do? Oh, we make a force power. They come back as ghosts can help. Now they ruined it recently because now force ghosts could fucking shoot lightning, interfere. Where the fuck were they? Like this whole time. It's just so stupid what they did. It. You could see the sparingness of being able to form a force ghost and how they could help but not influence too much. Uh, they even in the prequels, they even just hint at it when at the end of uh, the third one, 
he says uh Yoda says to Obi-Wan that um he, he's been contacted and I was like Qui Gon and he's gonna learn how to communicate with him, which I guess where he learns Obi Wan learns how to give in to the force and become part of it and form a ghost or whatever. But what they did in the new ones just kinda ruined everything. Now you just got all these questions. So in the thirty years that fucking happened between the movies the ghost of Anakin doesn't fucking do nothing when his children are fucking being manipulated by the Emperor, whatever the fuck. You could just go on and on and it creates a shithole of nonsense that people are wowed about. I fucking hated it. Don't mind Yoda showing up. Don't mind crazy, um, giggly, laughing Yoda, which was actually like just a persona, sort of. But no, he's got to be able to hit Luke with a stick, he's got to be able to burn the thing with lightning, and and I played the role-playing systems, I get it, learning new powers, expanding everything, but you got to earn it, The Empire Strikes Back did everything right, in my opinion, there's no closer to perfection Star Wars movie than Empire, although, yeah, you know, my bias, my fanboy rating is to the roof, it's just that good, and it's that much of my childhood, it's everything you wanted it to be even now i mean i could see even being an adult and being exposed to them you might you know roll your eyes a little bit at the first one get a little bit of a um giggle and uh, you know okay but the second one it really shows his vision it really sharpens it and i think it's a the greatest chapter probably in the star wars history well, there you go. I mean, I don't know how much good you can say. And even just discussing these Star Wars movies, it's not like, oh, I recommend this, go watch it. Of course I fucking do. Obviously, this is the best one, in my opinion. I do, like I said, I do have little chapters and memories from other movies that are really amazing. So, I give them credit in time when I get to them. But this would be the best. I mean... Talking about Return of the Jedi is fun because I love the movie, but it is, you know, it has more flaws in it. But as a vision for a trilogy, it, it's a really good end cap. It's a really good ending to the trilogy. So that makes Star Wars one of the best trilogies in cinema history, in my opinion. Although there have been others, and but they're rare. It's... There's always that one that's a little goes over the top too much. It just it's not it's it's teeters on being bad and it kind of ruins it. Now I don't mean it ruins my experience in the first movie because I don't let no books or no new movies ruin that movie for me. Now you might deter my interest in the next thing you're doing. That's fine. Oh no, it's not fine because you know I would like to enjoy this stuff. So get back to the roots. Get these new Lucas people. Watch the movies again. Yeah, they're flawed, but you know, Lucas had a vision and hop on the prequels all you want. These fucking new movies are fucking shitting on everything and ruining it. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed this. Watch Empire Strikes Back. Like I have to fucking say that. Be well, everybody. Stay safe. Stay healthy.